Everyone, my name is Spice and Jimmy, and welcome back to another episode of the Terraria Mage playthrough. In the last few episodes, we have been taking down all of the mechanical bosses, and all of them have indeed been taken down at least once, which means we now have full hallowed armor and also the ability to find plantera bulbs. Now, obviously, we did manage to find uh, one or two plantera bulbs in the last episode, but obviously, we weren't quite prepared to uh, take them down. But in this episode, that is going to be our goal. We are going to try and take down. Plant error. It's going to be a pretty damn difficult thing to do, I would imagine, anyway. Uh, but uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to try and get this thing rolling, my friend. Starting off with a good old-fashioned heart lantern. And we are also going to make ourselves a couple of campfires. You know what? I'm going to make another. I'm going to make another one of these things. There we go. Just because, you know, I want to have even amounts of these things. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's put the chains away. We do not need them on us right now. Okay, so, do we have any bombs anyway? We need a bunch of bombs. Sticky bombs would be preferred because obviously they're easier to use and of course they stick to surfaces. So let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of them. Uh, should we just make it up to 100? So we need 33 now. Uh, 33. Oh, 100 sticky bombs. Oh boy, that's a lot of sticky bombs. Wait, can we make sticky dynamite? Is that even a thing? We don't, you can't get sticky dynamite. Man, that's a bunch of balls. That should be able to uh, be a thing. Right, okay, so we currently have seven gold. We do not have a great deal of that, but uh, there's one thing I want to do really quick. I want to sell some of these hallowed bars. I'm going to sell 15 of them, okay? Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I would like to buy a crystal ball, which, of course, will increase your magic powers for a little amount of time. Not a great deal of time, but it's still pretty useful. Right, you require 10 gold. Go down to this guy, and boom, there we go. A crystal ball. All is good in the world of, of this place. What is this? One platinum for an ice rod that doesn't do much damage? Uh, summons a block of ice. Hmm, interesting. Right, mana patience. We're still pretty good on that front. Mm, yeah, still, still pretty good. Uh, what's this? Magic power potion, iron skin potion. Yep, both of them are going to be useful, of course. Uh, what else have we got going here? Obsidian skin potion? Nah, don't need this. Don't need that. Uh, yeah. It's just a case of really trying to make a whole bunch of potions and getting things rolling, I guess. Uh, demonic frost stuff? Are we going to use that? I don't know, man. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Someone was saying I should be able to make the venom stat. Because I've got chlorophy, I should be able to do this thing. Right. So if we go down to our anvil, let's just have a quick look-see really quick. Uh, there we go, venom staff. Damn, son, look at that. Shoots a venom fang that pierces multiple enemies. 78 damage, uses 18 mana. My god, that is expensive. All right, let's make it. There's a default one, which uh, not the best thing in a while, I must admit. I'm pretty sure they cost quite a lot to reforge as well. Should we just uh, have a look really quick, just to see how much it costs? I imagine it's going to be a fair amount. Uh, yeah, 11 gold. Ooh, that's, that's a bit on the high side. That really is. All right, uh, Crystal Storm. I don't think we're going to be using that, to be honest. Let's just go with these weapons here. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> using the wrong book. What a derp derp. All right, there we go. So we'll have the Nimbus Rod just to do lasting damage whenever we can. We'll use this to get lasting damage as well. And the rest of them will pretty much just use to get damage dealt to them, I guess. All right. Uh, should we get some blocks? I don't know how much we're going to need blocks, really. Not, not realistically, anyway. Right. Okay, let's just have a quick look-see. Uh, bit of that. Uh, Daybloom, do we have Daybloom? We don't have any Daybloom. Dang it, we can't make regen potions in which case. Damn it! Why you do this? Right, okay, Magic Power Potion is pretty good. Magic Power Potion combined with the Crystal Wall should give us a pretty significantly increased amount of, like, magic damage, you know? It's gonna be absolutely insane. Right. Okay, I guess the uh, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and quickly search for good old Plantera Bulb. There's one right here, but it is very, very secluded. So I'm thinking we could go ahead and blow this area out. Actually, no, that's a bad idea because that's corruption right there. Aye. In which case, perhaps I can go ahead and... Uh, let's just see. So I can get through the pretty easy passage and then we can get rid of this entire area here. And that should grant us the ability to get around quite nicely. So, let's just make our way over to the jungle really quick. Alrighty, guys. So, this would be the place we need to go ahead and demolish the crap out of. Alright. This shouldn't be too difficult, right? Let's just uh, get a quick scope of how big this place is. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly decent size. Oh, Jesus. What the... 
Where the hell did you come from, you blithering idiot? Jeez, don't do that to me. All right, I guess it's time to blow this place to smithereens. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I love blowing things up in Terraria. It's so satisfying. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the things we've already cleared out. This is fantastic. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to do the rest of this in the form of a montage time lapse. So let's go ahead and get on with this thing. And I'll meet you guys once this place is cleared. That's all my bombs gone. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have to hand carve the rest of this out, aren't I? Alright, let's get on with it, my friends. Let's carry on. Alrighty, guys. I think we are pretty much good to go in terms of this Plantera arena. We have a bunch of crap in our inventory. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of all of it because, to be honest, we don't need most of this stuff. Like nature's gifts, we don't need them. Chlorophyte, we're gonna keep, obviously, for. You know, obvious reasons. Moon glow, pretty good on that. Frying green torches, nah, don't need this stuff. Don't need most of this stuff, to be honest. Uh, mud blocks don't need quite that volume. I'm gonna keep the ores, obviously. Got star plug as well. That's pretty useful. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we're pretty much just good to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start going ahead and uh, planting some of these things down over here. So we're gonna put a heart lantern down there. We're also gonna go ahead and make a little platform uh, probably up in the middle here somewhere, just so we have something to land on. I get, my God, this is actually taller than I thought. Damn, son. That's very tall, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize just how tall I made this room. That's crazy. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, guy spawned. Hello, Mr. Dude. How are you doing, friend? Right, okay, let's just keep going. So we've got one of these right there, and we're gonna have another heart lantern right there. Okay, we've got a bunch of these bat dudes, a bunch of idiots. Right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's people falling down everywhere. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, how are you guys doing? Hopefully, you're all good. Right, okay, so. My god, look at the amount of dudes out there. <laughs> you can't get in here, you silly, silly idiot. Right, I'm hoping this is going to be enough room to take down Plantera. It's certainly high enough, but in terms of being wide enough, I would not know, honestly. So, uh, I know there's a Plantera ball near us already, but I just want to go ahead and have a look. Uh, have a quick look-see for any other potential ones that are around here. Uh, I can't see any. Honestly, right, we're going to go straight for this one, and then obviously we're going to go back into the room and obviously, you know, defeat the dude. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. I should put, like, a door here or something, shouldn't I? Should we do that? Should we just do that really quick? Yeah, I think that'd be a cool idea. So, let's just put down a workbench really quick. Let's make it the door. All right, here we go. And now we've got to take all these freaking idiots down. Oh! Get wrecked! All of you get wrecked. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, good. Hi. How are you doing? You don't do that, you stupid idiot. Right, okay, let's just put a door down there. There we go, now we can get in and out with ease. Okay, uh, we're going to need this back out. And I forgot to put down the crystal ball because I'm a dum-dum. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. All right, there we go. Uh, magic powers are increased. Sweet. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. All of you could die. Okay, so in terms of potions and stuff, we have the foe, we have the magic potion, and we have the iron skin potion. Should be able to do this. Should be an operative word. Obviously, if we can actually do it, that'd be fantastic. But, uh, you know, it's rather up to if I'm good enough or not. Right, okay. Okay, Pythy, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, Plantera has just awoken. Right, now we have to be quick. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's, let's go. Okay. Oh, there she is! She's already here! She's already here! Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, and buff. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's put a couple of these out of the game. There we go. And now, we pwn her ass. Right, okay, let's see how this thing does. The old uh, cursed flames. Because as you remember, this thing has been very, very good in my previous fights. Which is very cool indeed. Okay, oh boy, they're everywhere. They're, everything's everywhere. There we go. Come on. Keep it going, friendo. 
All right, where you at? 24,000 health already? Not too bad, not too bad. This thing does a decent amount of damage, but it doesn't seem to poison her. Hmm, okay. The Cursed Flames does poison her, which is always good to see. Okay, let's just keep going, though. Oh, good stupid balls. Flying spiky balls of death. Uh, oh, there's a block. I left a block there. Whoops, my bad. And health. Uh, hmm. Now, the bad thing is we don't have any opportunities to get mana back, unfortunately. So we are going to have to... I mean, I can't be spare with my mana. I really can't. It's just not a thing that can happen. We're just going to have to keep going as we would. So let's just go ahead and put a couple of these down. Maybe chuck some of those out. Shoot the old things out. Boom. We're using a variety of weapons at this point, and I'm actually getting close to dying. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, those spiky balls are very, very much damaging me. Oh no! I really don't want to die down here. If I could avoid dying at all costs, that'd be fantastic. Oh, how did I avoid that? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to pull something out of my butt here. Come on, come on. Come on. Really gonna have to pull something out of my butt. I need to like keep everybody away. These spiky balls are not helping. We have a hundred health and a few seconds to till regen. And health! There we go, fantastic. Whew. I can breathe a little better now. Yes. Oh my god. I, I actually feel like she's easier in her second form though she, than she is in her first form. Because she doesn't seem to send out any kind of projectiles in her second form. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, if it's easier then fantastic. <laughs> we can get this thing rolling. Fan freaking fantastic! All right, okay. Do 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 do. Shoot some more of these out. Why not? Let's just. I'm using a variety of mage weapons just to sort of make the fight a little more interesting, I guess. Oh, she does shoot out sort of projectiles. Huh. Little weird things that sort of float down to the ground. All right, five thousand health. Should we be able to do this thing? Do we even get any mage weapons from this woman? Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Woman. From this girl. From this boss. Thing. It's a thing. It's a plant for crying out loud. Alright, there we go. Do we even get mage weapons? I'm trying to think. Wasp gun. I think you can get the wasp gun from this uh, from this boss. That might be useful, actually. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, mana potions are still pretty much good. Do, 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 do. I think all of the buffs we've used have been very, very good indeed. And there she goes. Or oh, there she blows. Blows and goes. Right, there we go. So, Temple Key and, of course, the Rocket. Which is a, uh, a guarantee drop on your first uh, sort of defeat against Plantera. Alright. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Did it say the dungeon grows restless or something? I can't remember. I can't remember seeing that, honestly. Uh, would be nice, because then we can actually try to get the Spectre armor. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's just have a quick look-see once again. Is there any more Plantera balls that we could possibly uh, break... And defeat Plantera with again. Hmm. If they are, they're pretty far away. Hmm. We might have to dig out another arena somewhere. I can't see any, man. I'm trying my best to have a look, but uh, I honestly can't see any. Right, let's get rid of this block right here. It should not be here. Let me cobalt. Get out of here, damn idiot. Oh, stupid idiot. Don't fly into the vicinity of my blooming pickaxe. You will die. And it will count as an illegal kill. Stupid. Right, okay. <laughs> We're still doing well, though. Still doing very, very well, in fact. Oh, man. Right. Uh, should we... Hmm. <laughs> Spectre armor or jungle temple? Spectre armor or jungle temple? I think Spectre armor would be a good thing to go for, in all honesty. So, I think what I'm going to do is do exactly that. But I'm going to do that. Hmm, I tell you what, should we make this into a two-parter? Because I'm, I'm not finished and I don't think, I don't think we've uh, done a great deal of stuff so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize my inventory and then I'm going to meet you guys down by the dungeon. And hopefully from there we should be able to get some cool things going. So yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Huh, cyborgs arrived. Pretty cool. Hey buddy, what are you saying? What are you selling? A cement mixer? Ultravite torches? Eh, nothing too interesting to be honest. Nothing we haven't seen before. Right. Okay, we've got a bunch of potions. We've got a bunch of mana potions. Uh, yeah, weapons are looking good. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we really need to get. I can't say I do. Hmm. Right. Okay. 
In which case, we're pretty much good to go to the dungeon and see if we can actually uh, get some of these good old ectoplasm things, because obviously they're going to be very, very useful indeed for making the old spectre armor, which of course will allow us to regen our health upon killing enemies or even hurting enemies with magic damage. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous, OP as hell. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get on with this thing. We're going to head to the dungeon and I'll meet you guys there. Here we go, friends. The dungeon. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't say I'm looking forward to this, but uh, we're going to have to do some things. Okay. Dungeon. Here we go. Is that a, is that a mimic? Oh, it's not a mimic. It's actually... What? I left a chest there with nothing in. Huh, interesting. Right. Now then. So, are we gonna get some things from the dungeon? Any hard mode enemies? Have I messed up? Did I... I didn't... I don't think I saw the message, did I? There was no message. I think you have to defeat... Oh, no, no, no! There they are! There they are! Oh, my God! They are here! Oh, God! Okay, right. This is gonna get very, very hairy in which case... Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Come on! Oh, ectoplasm straight away! Okay, good start, good start. Uh... Oh, dear! Okay. Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, get out, get out, get out. No, 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 no. Oh, God. That is hard as absolute hell, that is. That is hard as hell. Jesus, man. And that's with hallowed armor. Holy crap. Man, that is that is properly difficult. Right, are there any areas which I feel I could uh, potentially survive pretty well? Um, Maybe over here, perhaps? Because, you know, it's just one big corridor, isn't it? I mean, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to get on with uh, surviving there, for example. Right. My goodness, I'm good, but I'm not that good. Really? Heather, you're supposed to be a nurse. You should be able to heal the world. And yet you're just being a wuss. Get on with it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think the best idea at this point would actually be to uh, make a bed and take it to the dungeon. Because, uh, you know. I don't want to die and have to like walk all the way back over there because that would suck wouldn't it right okay do we have any beds any beds at all I don't think we do we're gonna have to make a bed then aren't we Jesus I hate making beds it's such a pain in the ass right okay uh 10 silk yeah I guess all right we need wood and we need to go to a sawmill all right we should be able to do this right a bed question mark yep there we go okay fantastic all right okay <laughs> I'm just going to make a very quick house over by the dungeon and then, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Hopefully once we are ready to get on with poning some butts. <laughs> 